Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Alex here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this nice, cute little house with a little attachment over it that, that I designed to go over a river. I figured it would be a nice little water feature. The house itself is very simple, but I think with the right color palette, it's nice and cute, which is why I experimented with the dark prismarine there, but if you don't have it, you don't need it. And the inside, you don't have a lot of room, but it's definitely nice for a little starter house, something unique and interesting to add to a village. I just kind of decorated it really quick in here. But of course, the inside decorations are up to you. Now I'm just going to go over the color palette that I was using. I have the uh, dark oak, some polished andesite, and I am going to need cobblestone. I can't remember why I have the, now I remember why I have the stone brick. We're going to use a stone brick for the addition. And the spruce is for the walls and I use dark oak and dark prismarine for the roof. And then we have the regular oak blocks to just uh, kind of do the floor. Nice and easy. So we're going to start off first with the, with the foundation. What you want to do is come up, is make a nice little seven wide spot here and I periodically put the polish andesite blocks there to kind of just break up the foundation so the width of the first house is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going down lengthwise it's that would be block one right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and there's block number 14. And again, I'm just popping in some blocks here, I'm counting in three cobblestone blocks and then deleting the fourth one and putting a polished andesite. So, not including the polished andesite blocks, you have a three, four, three, and then a two and a two with andesite in between. And then again, I'm just going to be copying it over here. Do. And polish it, not stone brick, polish it site. I'm gonna make a little L spot with it right here. This block here, no one's gonna really see. So if you really wanted to save the materials, you could delete those. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just leaving them in there. And then hopping over in the corners here. And this section here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks by five. So we have one block here, two, three, four, and that block would be five. I'm actually going to come in here and just swap these out really quick. After deleting a glass block, that glass grass. I'm having brain farts again this morning. So to do this little section, which is the area that would go over the wa over water, you come in with one cobblestone block and that on both sides, and each side you're gonna place an upside down staircase, and then you just connect it with half slabs. And that is just to give you this nice, pretty little, little art, tiny archway. Depending on how deep your water is, say you you have one extra block. What I would do as I quickly try to excavate is take this block and swap it out with another little stair block, or maybe even just go back one more and then do another half slab. Pop just a regular block there. So that's what the two look like. So I'll leave that decision up to you. I'm just going to be back in a second after covering up all the evidence. Okay, and I'm back. All the evidence has been covered up. I'm just going to quickly grab floor materials here, which is the oak wood and oak half slabs. For this little section, I just took oak calf slabs, filled it in all the way. And then the big section here, I just filled it in with oak planks. Again, any block of your choice, it's whatever is available to you or you feel like using. I'm gonna cut this section out because you really don't need to see me do a floor. Okay, I'm back once again, just gonna keep on chugging through this episode. And we're gonna be dealing with this, with the bigger of the two rectangles for right now. Actually, one of the things I forgot to do is you actually want to swap these guys out for your floor material. 
So now that's fixed. Back to what I was saying. In this cut straight on the main rectangle, what you want to do is just come around like that. You want to leave the floor spot there alone, and you're raising this up three high. And just I just want to double check. I believe the next section is all stone. Yes, yes, it is. And while we're dealing with this, you're going to come in two here, and that's going to be three high. Another two there, another two there, another two there. There, you leave this section blank. In here, you're gonna raise this all too high with the blank sections. And then on the third layer, you're gonna come around and just wrap it around so you're making the nice window frame. I'm gonna kind of cut the rest of this out and delete some of that house since it's uh, butting right up against. I really didn't. I started counting over there, and I wanted to make sure there was enough room on the island. Island, and uh, yeah, I kind of ran into some technical issues, so I'm gonna fix that, and I'm gonna finish the walls off, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I kind of deleted some of the house, so you get a nice little sneak peek in, in the inside while we, we work. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm just gonna line out some half slabs on the outside, I'm being parallel with the blocks here, so. From this two section, you're just gonna place some half slabs next to there and come out to this guy right here. Starting from this block, you're gonna come make a nice little L and poke out one end. This side is gonna be pretty much the same thing. It's gonna go all the way down here, poke out one end. Definitely, definitely an expensive build if you're using the dark prismarine, but I wanted to see what the color looked like with the uh, spruce wooden so overall I like the like the color choice and this is pretty much marking out where we want to do an a-frame so basically your typical basic triangle shape roof so you're coming around that corner and this corner I just want to highlight because this is the only little different part and we're gonna leave that that's about being left blank because we're gonna actually come in there to give the roof a little bit of an accent with the dark oak and I messed up right there. You want to place it on top of the wall where you start the staircase. You just have that half slab on the side to kind of give it, give the roof a little bit of shape to break up the typical A-frame as you can see on this corner. So we'll actually fly over and look at the completed one. So it just breaks it up a little bit. And that's the overall idea behind that. You do, however, want to come in on these corners, just one half slab. Did forget to mention that it's a, more of a finishing detail than that in than I doing an actual roof in my opinion. So those half slabs are now added in. So I'm gonna be back after popping in an A-frame. I'm it, it's a typical roof, everyone knows how to do it, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, and we're back, and now it's just time for the uh, little section in here to break up the overall A-frame shape. And it's really, really simple. I'll, it's another A-frame, but this time just out of half slab, so half slab there, half slab there, coming off this guy doing half slab, fix that block, and the half slab right there. And all we're going to do is take this and carry it to the other side, and deal with this spot, half slab there, half slab there, and that is pretty much it for the roof, nice and simple. And the reason this I just did this here is again, it's to break up the A-frame. You have a bunch, A-frames are the most typical roofs. They're kind of, they, they get boring. So I did this to add a little bit of splash of color into it and break up the overall shape, something nice to draw your eye to. And since that roof is now done, we're gonna come in right here and fill this big hole we left behind with windows. Popping that in. And then from there, it's just figuring out where the uh, doors and windows are going to go. And also, you kind of want to fill in that. You don't want any uh, hostile mobs flying through with their ninja like powers. And you want to figure out where the door, door itself is going to be. Over there, I put it dead center, but I kind of want to see what it would be like if I put it off to the side. So I'm going to pop the door right here which leaves me some room for windows right there. And just to 
through the windows definitely here. I'm gonna pop in two long ones there, two more there, and break the floor. Come in here, make sure all the walls are closed up. Which they are totally not, so let's fill that in. So little, little spots are filled in there. Now just finish adding the windows. Ah, I want to leave room to place stuff on the wall, so I'll pop that there. Nice long window there. And pop it in the glass. I'll be back once I finish this little detail, even though... Eh, I'm not going to be back. I'll stay here. Next, I'm just gonna grab the door and some torches. There's not much left to this build. We're pretty much done. Just the final touches. Don't forget to torch up your buildings. Make sure they're nice and bright. And now I remember what I was forgetting to, forgetting to talk about. Um, how I did the ceiling here, because you kind of have this awkward spot. What I did is I did not do half slabs. Okay. That's what I did with the roof. I did that and then I just flipped and did it on the other side that I totally totally deleted. So I kept this hallway of Dark Prison Marine, which is probably why I was struggling. But enough of that. I missed a spot. Let's fix that. That's pretty much it for the build. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. Maybe if you wanted to add a little bit more detail, pop a window up here. But I'll leave that up to you along with the outside decorations I definitely would recommend nice green ferns and stuff this is definitely a nice woodsy over the creek build wish I kind of pulled this house out forward so you can see the back a little better but overall it's simple a nice little starter house definitely unique I hope you enjoyed the build I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button comment what you thought about the house if you're using it or what you'd like to see next in a video. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to get you to stay around. Other than that, this is Sergeant Alex, and I hope you have a nice day.